So much of the community came out today to pay their respects to Officer Slagansky. They lined the main drag of McKeesport to bid farewell to the young man who gave his life for their protection. Chris Hoffman joins us live now with that part of the story. Chris. Christine, Officer Suganski only served the community for a couple years here. He left a lifetime of memories. That was evident by the amount of support that there was along Lyle Boulevard here. He passed by the public safety building and this decorated car that's now a memorial a couple times before heading to his final resting place. Red and blue lights flashed around the Mon Valley as the procession of Officer Sean Suganski crossed into McKeesport. A McKeesport police car sat silent at the corner of Market Street and Lyle Boulevard outside the public safety building. Black bunting with a thin blue line draped over the hood. And this obviously hurts the city of McKeesport. We're really close in that city, small city. Brandy Good was one of the first people to show up and show her support. She put balloons on the fence near the officer's memorial. I feel like any situation like this is sad. However, if the community gets comes together and they support each other and they know exactly what needs to be done. I feel like you could work through situations like this. People lined the sidewalk of Lyle Boulevard holding American flags. Some had signs thanking the young man and others were simply standing there to show their respects. It's tragedy wherever it happens, but when it happens here, it's it's very painful. An American flag flew above the street right outside the police station, a sign from a nearby business was simple and showed the love the community had for Officer Sagansky. I've been sick to my stomach since it happened, since I got the phone call. Ashley Poston has close friends who protect and serve. She brought her three young children down to show their support. She says it's a challenge to explain to them why today is so important. They think it's a parade, but I keep trying to tell them it's a procession, it's not a parade. They're showing respect for our police officers and our community. Now, after making that last loop around the city of McKeesport, the body of Officer Sugansky was taken to Jefferson Memorial in Pleasant Hills. Live in McKeesport, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.